What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and yeah, I have a headset. Yeah, I don't fucking care. No one cares. So I am fucking pissed. Now, it doesn't really take much to piss me off nowadays, or to at the very least annoy the shit out of me. And let me tell you a couple things that really fucking pissed me off. Stupid neighbor's dog's next fucking door won't shut the fuck up. And people in general, I fucking hate humans. I wish they all die. I really don't care. I hate them. All right. Now, not not my subscribers. They're cool people. I, mean, shit, I don't even think they're human because only non-humans would actually subscribe and see my weird shit. Because no sane person actually would. But that's beside the point. The point is, a lot of things kind of are fucking pissing me off lately. But one of these things is Facebook. Now, Facebook has been doing a lot of stupid bullshit throughout the years, right? We've all we've all known this, we've all seen it, we've all dealt with it pretty much at one point or another. And if you haven't, well, I don't fucking know what the fuck to tell you. Because this is so fucking... Okay, so one of my friends, uh, he ended up getting his account blocked for whatever. I don't know why. I mean, some asshole decided to fucking report him for a non-offensive post. Mind you, the, he, he followed the guidelines. He did whatever it is that he did. You know, he followed the guidelines and the rules and shit. And Facebook still fucked him up because some piece of fucking shit decided to report him. Now, I have also had my fair share of bullshit through goddamn Facebook. Alright? Now, here's what I've noticed. You try to help your friends out. Like, let's say one of my friends is depressed, or fuck, even if, if I am, right? Uh, some of my friends will help me out, right? And I'll help them out if they're feeling like shit. Well, Facebook doesn't like that. They would fucking ban, or at least block people, for trying to help other people, right? Oh, I'm gonna kill myself or whatever. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta help them out. And so I try to help them out. Well, my account gets blocked for 30 fucking days. Uh, but here, that's the thing. They don't, they, they don't care about other people when it comes to everything. Because they will allow porn bots to, uh, I'm still getting porn bots every fucking day. You know, those porn bots is like, oh, hi, I'm, I found you through your friends list or whatever. But these porn bots are being more discreet and, or not really that, but they're being more open about it. They're being more open They're like, yeah. Fucking go to my porn site or some shit. And then, also, they will deal with that, and they will deal with hate. I mean, they're like, okay, yeah, sure. Porn bots. Porn bots can be allowed on Facebook. Oh, people are sending death threats to one another. Okay, sure. We can allow that. We, we don't care. You know, we, we don't give a fuck. Guys and gals, I think it's time. Time to stop Facebook. Now, there has been a post on Twitter. It, this was trending on Twitter uh, either yesterday or two days ago. Hashtag uh, delete Facebook or something like that. Where there's this whole movement now because Zuckerberg did some stupid shit. I mean, when the fuck hasn't he? You know, he's invading privacy and, and your account, it, once you make an account, uh, they, they basically sell your info to other people. They say that they don't, but they do. And you know that they do. Because we get a phone call. I, mean, I got a phone call uh, about my uh, William Madison account, right? Uh, back when I still had that account. I made that account to get away from certain people. I made that account to uh, basically say fuck you to some of those people that were attacking me and harassing me. On my main account. Well, I got phone calls from people in India telling me about, oh, electricity and shit. Well, not only do they fuck up privacy, but Zuckerberg doesn't give a flying vagina about anything. He doesn't care if people are getting harassed. I mean, shit, I got harassed. I got death threats all over the damn place uh, when my account got hacked the first time. Uh, you know, with Brian, when he hacked my account and stuff like that. So I, 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 I tried reporting these people, 
because, oh yeah, they're sending me death threats. They're saying they're going to kill me. And they will because they're in the same fucking area as I am. They live like in the same fucking town or a town over or two towns over. And you're telling me that you're not going to fucking do anything about it? You're telling me that you're just going to say, eh, fuck you. But, you try to post a, a, a photo or a, a post about you being depressed and you need help or some shit. Next thing you know, BAM! Your account gets shut down for 30 days, pretty much. And with 30 days, you can't do anything. You can't make posts, you can't send photos, you can't go live, you can't even message people on Messenger. What the fucking fuck? Okay, Facebook, I don't know what your logic is or your reasoning is behind this shit, but it's gotta fucking stop. I mean, banning or at least blocking innocent people just because they made a post, alright? We all make fucking posts. The whole point of Facebook is to connect with one another. To make friends and shit. All that good shit. Right? And if one of us is depressed and shit, the job of the other people on your friends list, if they give a half pint of a flying asshole, is to care. Their job is to post things, memes, uh, photos, uh, trying to help you and shit. But you don't care about that. You would rather have a bunch of fucking porn bots run the whole website, and you'd rather have people death threatening each other. Literally. Like, th no one cares if I'm being harassed on Facebook or Messenger or anything like that. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you because you like My Little Pony or some shit. Oh, well, we can't do anything about that person because they haven't done anything. Yeah, well, you are quick to do something with me, but not these fuck nuts that are actually damaging your website? Oh wait, yeah, not only are they damaging their your website, but you are damaging your own website by not giving a fuck. The whole point of Facebook, again, is to be connected with one another, and the whole point is to stay in contact, make friends, and, and potential family members. I mean, shit, I have... One or two people that I consider my family because I, I met them on Facebook and I've known them for a long ass time. But now, with Facebook being a piece of goddamn shit, I, I, I mostly only really use Facebook on YouTube to, to promote my videos to my, my friends and shit and to my groups that I'm in. But aside from that, I don't really do much in terms of YouTube on PlayStation, well, not, not PlayStation, uh, on, on Facebook. Because, you know, Facebook on YouTube, YouTube on Facebook, you know, I don't really share shit, like other videos or whatever, unless I think they're really good. And I don't really click on a lot of videos that people tell me to do. But that's beside, that has nothing to do with the whole point. The point is, is that I have seen the most fucked up shit on Facebook. I have seen images of beaten dogs. I've seen images of bloody humans. I've seen images that make the fucking deep web, the fucking deep web, innocent. Even the darkest side of the deep slash dark web, I have, that they're pretty tame compared to what I've seen on Facebook. Because you want to know something? They don't care. Facebook doesn't give a shit. Zuckerberg and everybody else at Facebook headquarters doesn't give a fuck about what is being posted. Unless you're trying to help people. That's how it works. You know, you, you, I mean, we are living in a society where on social media you can't say anything. The internet is supposed to be a free place. A place for freedom of speech. A place for everything, pretty much. A place where you can put everything out there. Your thoughts on anything. Or how you're feeling. Facebook has things designed. It's like, oh, if you're feeling like shit, here are some hotlines or whatever. Or if you feel like whatever, you know, you could say, oh, I'm feeling depressed or whatever. But now, I think they're better off not doing that. Because even if you do say, I'm depressed or I'm pissed or something, they're going to be like, oh, shit, he's pissed off. He's depressed. Oh, let's, let's, uh, let's do something. Okay, so I mentioned something on my backup account. Um... 
when I still had it, my backup account is pretty much fucked because of Facebook. And it had something to do with the fact, oh, I'm depressed. Basically, I'm, I'm depressed and shit. And, you know, because a lot was on my mind and whatever. Well, Facebook decided to take that fucking post down and give me a 30-day block. Yeah, um, guess how, guess how I felt afterwards. Yeah, that made it a whole lot worse. Because Facebook doesn't care. And that wasn't even up enough for one person to like. Or one person even comment. It was gone about like a minute after. And on my main account, the, the problem lies with Facebook in itself. These bots and even the fucking small amount of humans that actually run Facebook... They're not doing their jobs properly. They're not doing anything that they're supposed to do. They don't know how to filter shit. Alright? The job of AI and robots are supposed to be like, Oh, okay. They're supposed to learn, pretty much. It's like, oh, okay. We didn't mean to to flag that post or to take it down, you know, or whatever. That's why they have reviews. But we're better off not reviewing anything. There's a bug going on on Facebook, or either that, or it's just Facebook being a piece of shit, where mass fucking things that you post are being taken down and flagged with spam. I've had things where, you know, some of my, my uh, links to the videos that I post here on YouTube, the links that I post on Facebook that goes to this video or any video that I've made have been linked as spam when it's just pretty much how I advertise things. I'm like, okay, here. Here's a new video. Check it out or some shit. And if we're gonna be playing that sort of game where, oh, it's advertised as spam because you're telling people to, to check out your video. Yeah? Well, there's other people doing the same fucking shit. There are people, more subs than me, more views, more everything that are doing the same thing. Check out my music. Check out my art. Check out my gameplay. Check out my video game I just made. Check out my porn. I mean, yeah, it's fucking porn bot, so why the fuck not? I mean, so we, we're just getting so far into the rabbit hole on Facebook where nothing matters to anybody or anything on Facebook that it's like, oh, you're depressed? Well, I'm going to take that post down because who cares about you? And that's all that Facebook is. Facebook stops giving a shit about people. A long time ago. But they have really hit the fucking deep end. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a small person. You know, I have, like, less than 400 subs here. And I don't really have a lot of following. But the people that I do actually have subscribed to my channel and that are actually watching these videos, I have one thing to say. Just just get rid of Facebook. I, I, I know it's easy for me to say because I, I haven't done it yet. I mean, because I, I, like I said, I do it for posting things like, you know, links to my other videos and, and whenever I upload and stuff, and I also post other things. But the problem is, with that, is that I actually have people that I talk to a lot on Facebook that I can't talk to in reality because I'm not in the area. You know, yeah, I can talk to my sister Brianna, that's about it, because she's in the area. But everybody else... Like, DJ Judson, yeah, I could talk to him on PSN, I could talk to him pretty much anywhere, like on Skype or some shit. But, you know, I mean, he's over in fucking Minnesota, I'm here in goddamn shitty-ass racing Ohio. Yeah, uh, that, that's far. So, I only really use Facebook to get in contact with my friends like it was supposed to be used. Like it was supposed to be. And when you post things... Like, memes and shit. Okay, I, I've also seen uh, links to videos containing death and suicide. I have seen videos on that. I have seen photos of Columbine in a joking matter. So, you're telling me that joking about suicide or joking about Columbine or 9-11 or something is okay, but having a post about being suicidal or... Or, or, or anything like that, like, you know, actually legitimately feeling like shit isn't okay. And that 
you should, oh, we, you know, he's feeling like, like shit. Oh, he's, he's pissed off. Let's take down the post. Yeah, I mean, Facebook, do you wonder why people are starting to hate you now? Do you, do you wonder why some people would rather uh, not use Facebook? Do you know why there's a big hashtag on Twitter about deleting Facebook from people's phones and, and devices and stuff like that? It's because you're pulling this bullshit. It's because you are not allowing us the free speech that is basically what the internet is supposed to be. You know, we are supposed to have freedom of speech here on the internet, and we can't have that because, oh, I, I can't, I guess I can't be depressed, I can't be pissed off about something. I can't have any goddamn feelings whatsoever. ever. I must, I, I, I gotta be like some of those anime characters that don't have any feelings, and, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you, have you ever seen some anime where there are characters that don't have any emotion, that are just so badass? Like, have you seen those people in anime? I'm pretty sure you have. They exist. So, you're telling me I have to be like one of those people that, that doesn't get pissed off, that doesn't cry over anything, that doesn't get any, that, that doesn't even have any goddamn joy in pleasing my friends or family members about whatever the fuck I'm posting because you don't like me. And it's also interesting to note that Facebook... Obviously, they decline all these bullshit things that they say that they didn't do. And they're saying that they didn't do anything wrong. And that, oh, it's the bots. Yeah, well, go fuck yourself, Facebook. You have no idea how to run anything. And YouTube uh, is kind of the same way. Except YouTube isn't quite as bad right now. Yes, there are issues with YouTube. I've mentioned them before. I might mention them again. Uh, including, but not limited to, unsubscribing. Subscribing to random people that I never watch. Uh, m removing comments that people have posted that are not bad. Uh, leaving, uh, you know, basically doing everything that they can to fuck us over as content creators. But this is tame compared to what Facebook is doing. I mean, seriously, I've heard stories of, like, a couple people... Uh, literally, literally, uh, killing themselves because Facebook, um, took down the posts and these people felt like they didn't matter because even if, if Facebook doesn't care, why would anybody else? That's basically, that, that's what they thought. And Facebook, again, denies any, any fucking thing. And some people, they try to get in contact with Facebook, like, why are you so stupid? Why are you letting this happen? Why are you allowing porn and and death threats to happen, but you don't allow uh, anything that's actually good on the platform? Or something that's so microscopic that it's not really all that much to worry about? I mean... Oh, okay. Okay, you post a picture of a gun. That gets taken down. But a picture of... Again, Columbine, in a joking matter, can stay on Facebook. And you have to have, like, 5 billion people, you know, pissed, being pissed off about it to take it down. Facebook, my question for you is, what the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck are you so goddamn stupid? Again, is it a wonder why many of us are starting to get pissed off with your bullshit? When all my friends are actually leaving Facebook... Because of this? Right? I mean, seriously. It's it's stupid. That Facebook would even consider... It's just being so smug about it. They're like, oh, come on. Let's be honest here. It's not our fault. It's, it's not our fault any of this is happening. It's not our fault that, you know, these things are on here. It's just all the bots' fault. You know, it's, it's the bots. They're learning and stuff. Yeah, well, they had enough goddamn time to learn. It's not just the bots' fault. Yes, I do agree that some things that are on Facebook should not be on Facebook. But you're not doing anything about it. Instead, you're taking down innocent posts. You're making people basically just fucked up. You're, you're, you're making people question their life and, and, and make them 
question themselves and see if they actually do matter. And you're making people just question you. And seeing if you're really as good of a website as you claim to be. Now, back in the day, Facebook used to be good. Now, all these uh, websites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all these websites that when they first started, aren't you know, they were not bad. They were starting out. But ever since they became a multi-million dollar, even sometimes billion dollar industry, they don't care about humans anymore. They don't care about us. You know, even the people that are making them all this money, they don't care. And, yeah, Facebook is for the people. You know, we accept whatever. YouTube. Oh, we accept creativity and, and stuff. Yeah, bullshit. The only thing you accept is goddamn Fortnite videos and goddamn vlogs about whatever the fuck. I mean, seriously. Is that it? Is that all we have to do to get famous on YouTube is do... Fortnite videos all our lives, or whatever's hip with the kids, like Minecraft. I, mean, I could do Minecraft, but not really Fortnite. But also, Facebook is the same way. With uh, the videos and stuff, with the algorithms and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's not good. Facebook is bullshit. And they are going to be worse. When some of my friends are considering leaving Facebook, if they haven't already, because of your bullshit... It's time to reconsider things. It's time to reconsider everything. So if you haven't already decided, you know, if you should delete Facebook or not really use it, do it. If this video is any, any indication, just fucking do it. Because, you know, it, it, it's, it's like the whole boycotting of um, Blizzard. Don't support them. All right, don't support Blizzard because they are, they're in it for the money. They're not in it for the people. They basically fucked over someone in esports. And also, don't do anything with Facebook. Okay, don't blame yourself for Facebook's problems. If a post of yours gets taken down, or if a photo gets taken down, or if anything uh, gets taken down that isn't bad, it's not your fault. It's Facebook. And if you get death threats or if you get porn bots or any porn in general, then just just fucking ignore it, okay? Because Facebook isn't going to do anything about it. Facebook doesn't care anymore. They never really did care, but they really don't. And it's obvious that they don't even care. Now, I might still use Facebook Messenger only to get in contact with people because, I mean, with Messenger, um, it's more freedom on Messenger than regular Facebook. So, I mean, you can keep Messenger, I guess, because, I mean, how else am I supposed to get in contact with some people? But actual Facebook, just fuck it. Stop it. And if you want to post something, just just go on Messenger and be like, hey, uh, can you post this for me? Can you post something or or whatever and help me out or something? Have someone else post it for you because I don't know. But just the whole thing is that everything about Facebook now is, is stupid. It's fucking ridiculous. It's retarded. It should not be a thing anymore. Facebook has overstayed its goddamn welcome. It doesn't care about people. It doesn't care about anything except treating people like shit. And banning and taking down innocent posts that are not against any guidelines or terms of service or anything like that. I mean, yeah, no one really reads the terms of service anyway. I mean, fuck that. No, no one reads that shit anyway. So... Whatever. But just ignore Facebook. Just don't support them if they are going to be doing this shit. And to Facebook. I know Mark Zuckerberg isn't going to be watching this. He's too badass, according to him, uh, 
to even care about the small people like me, who have, like, less than a thousand subs, even less than 500. But, seriously, if you're watching this, Zuckerberg, fuck you. You goddamn piece of shit. How could you let this even happen? Letting innocent people get taken down. Letting innocent people let their lives get ruined because of you. Facebook is so easy to hack into other people's accounts. All you have to do, and this is easy, is just find some way to hack into Facebook and you have access to all these people. And apparently security is not good either. So you're better off. You're better off. Just if you're going to get an account on Facebook. You're better off just either A. Not. Or B. Just selling your information in general. Because that's what they do. Alright. You might as well be one step ahead of the fucking game. But yeah. Just don't ever trust Facebook. That's it for this video, guys and gals. If you like this video, give this video a like if it's fun, too. And don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing, because I know my fucking thoughts. Oh, shit. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. Ah! And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro love. Boom. One more time with feeling. Fuck Facebook!